The royal court announced today that the Yemeni president Abdrabbu Mansour Hadi will arrive in Bahrain tomorrow on an official visit to the kingdom. During the visit, the Yemeni president will hold talks with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the deep rooted brotherly relations between the two countries, in addition to regional and Arab developments, particularly the situation in Yemen. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received Sheikh Fahad Al Mubarak Al Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Sabah and Sheikh Mubarak Salim Al Ali Al Sabah in the presence of the Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain Sheikh Azam Al Mubarak Al Sabah. The Prime Minister reviewed with the guests the advanced level of close historic ties without or throughout the history of both countries, stressing that the young generation should follow the steps of their forefathers in preserving the unique model represented in the Bahraini Kuwaiti ties. The audience hailed His Royal Highness's role in developing and boosting the bilateral ties and expressed their pride and appreciation of His Royal Highness's keenness to entrust the young people in both countries with the task of ensuring the continuity of these uniquely outstanding bilateral ties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibia Palace today the board chairman of Kuwaiti Finance House Ahmed Al Marzouk. His Royal Highness affirmed that the region enjoys a business-friendly environment for investment but cautioned that there are attempts against its security and stability and the development process. He said it was important to focus on joint investments that ensure the progress of countries and people. He expressed pride in KFH's pioneering role in implementing many economic development projects in Bahrain through constructive initiatives that reflect the bank's efficient planning and execution. The Prime Minister stressed support for freedom of the financial and banking sector, which is a key contributor to strengthening the national economy and providing new job opportunities for citizens. He pointed out that all programs and plans adopted by the government to develop the banking sector are aimed at preserving Bahrain's regional and international status as a major financial hub and also at uh, creating an attractive environment for investors. His Royal Highness praised the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Kuwait in various fields, stressing that these relations are based on love and brotherhood, which confirms uh, the shared destiny between the two countries and their people. These uh, strong bilateral ties and wide-ranging cooperation, he said, are reflected in Kuwaiti investments in Bahrain. The Prime Minister affirmed that Bahrain welcomes Kuwaiti investments and is keen to provide the necessary facilities and legislations for ensuring their success. For his part, Mr. Al Marzoug expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's support of the Kuwait Finance House and stressed KFH's keenness to expand areas of investment in Bahrain. He said Bahrain has a perfect atmosphere and modern laws for attracting investment and improving the financial and banking sector, so it will be an effective contributor to the development of the kingdom. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the Desert Force 21 Championship taking place at Hussein Sports City in the Jordanian capital Amman with the Chairman of the Arab Mixed Martial Arts Federation Hussein bin Nasser Mirza. The Desert Force founder Zaid Mirza and Jordanian officials. His Highness joined the technical and administrative staff providing support and making final preparations for the fighter Hamza Al Kohiji. He explained that the participation of the KHK MMA team is an opportunity to show the steps and measures taken by Bahrain to support and nurture the sport. He commended the work of the Desert Force organization, which he said has boosted the sport's reputation through the events and championships it holds, which gives fighters the opportunity to compete. His Highness thanks the technical and administrative staff and wished them further success.
Later, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa departed Jordan after attending the Desert Force 21 competition in Amman, in which 11 Arab countries took part. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad was seen off by Brigadier Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Charge d'Affaires at Bahrain's embassy in Jordan, Mohammed Zabedi, and Jordanian officials. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mulla, chaired the Council's weekly session today in which it issued a statement supporting the success of the Northern Thunder military drill, which affirmed uh, the unity of Arab and Islamic countries in combating terrorism. The Council also issued a statement affirming its support of decision by Bahrain and a number of GCC countries to take illegal action against anyone supporting the Hezbollah terrorist organization. The Council then reviewed a report from the Public Utilities and Environment Committee and agreed to refer it to the Shura Council for further study. Information Minister and President of the 14th Gulf Radio and Television Festival, the GRTC, Ali Ar-Ramehi, inaugurated last night the 14th edition of the festival organized by the Gulf Radio and Television Corporation in cooperation with the Information Affairs Ministry. The inauguration took place in the presence of the Gulf Corporation Council Secretary General, Dr. Abdul Latif Rashid Al Zayani, His Majesty the King's Advisor for Media Affairs, Nabil bin Yaqub Al Hamar, Ministers senior officials, GCC ambassadors to Bahrain, and media figures from Bahrain and GCC countries. The minister said he was delighted to host the festival in the presence of elite media personnel and intellectuals from the GCC and the Arab region. He thanked GRTC, the GCC General Secretariat, and the organizing committees for organizing the landmark media event, which he described as a GCC and Arab message to the whole world of the key role played by the media in preserving Arab culture, identity and values, boosting creativity and promoting the culture of peace and tolerance. He also noted the relevance of this year's festival theme, One Media Vision, in highlighting growing awareness of the need to unite media, discourse and boost cooperation to ward off threats to regional security and stability. The GRTC Director General and Festival Secretary General Dr. Abdullah Abu Ras described the festival as a milestone stressing keenness to enhance the standard of functions and events to keep abreast of media strides and developments. This year's festival included a competition for three categories of short films as part of efforts to encourage budding talents and develop cinema alongside other contests which feature GCC radio and electronic media. Prominent media figures from around the GCC convened at the University of Bahrain yesterday for the official opening of the 14th Gulf Radio and Television Festival. This year's theme, One Media Vision, aims to highlight the need to unite media work and bolster cooperation in the media platform amongst the member states. Now I think we, we are um, keen to, to be more united, more uh, working together uh, and more producing um, programs and drama together. Uh, I think this will, will bring the people together again and um, uh, bring the people uh, close to each other. Uh, this is one of the most important uh, aspects of uh, the new media in this uh, period of time. The festival is jointly organized by the Gulf Radio and Television Corporation and the Ministry of Information Affairs. It brings together an elite group of media personnel and intellectuals from around the Gulf to share their experiences in the field. It's so good. I mean, uh, first of all, uh, we know that saying, uh, in, uh, and then, I mean, in UAE, when we say, Beit Mutawahid. So, you know, being here in the Middle East with the GCC countries in one fest, which is so good, um, seeing the nice talents that we have everywhere in here. I think one day, um, we're going to be in a way better spot. This year's festival included a competition for short films alongside other competitions featuring electronic media to encourage potential local talents. You know, this is uh, for encouraging uh, the government channels and the government institutions for uh, information, radio, television, new media, all of this kind. We are working on that this, because they don't have encouragement from anywhere and this actually contributed in improving and developing the production in the Gulf area. During the opening ceremony, a number of media figures from the different member states were honored for their service in the industry. 
And so the leading media figures of the GCC are all here in the Kingdom of Bahrain to celebrate our joint media march and our numerous achievements. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News.